Hi guys, it's Tom from Trainsim TV, and welcome to another video. Um, in this video, we're going to give you a tutorial on the Just Trains Metropolitan Line. Um, this tutorial is going to cover all the tunnel section signalling to do with the approach controls and the draw ups. Um, the purpose of this video is to basically help you out and give you the knowledge on where and what speed you need to be doing. Um, so what I'll do is I'll give you the signal numbers and whereabouts they are and the speeds. And then obviously with the video you'll see uh, whereabouts you need to be for these signals to trigger and give you the green. Uh, that way you will not need to keep tapping your signals um, to get through towards where you need to go to. So we're at uh, Finchley Road so we're going to do between Finchley Road to Olga and then back to Finchley Road on this uh, drive. You'll notice there's no uh, there's no AI. It's just virtually uh, a path to train there and back, just as, uh, as a basic um, tutorial for you guys at home. Um, so without further ado, um, hello and welcome to this Metropolitan Signal Learning tutorial. We'll take you through the tunnel along the Just Train Metropolitan Line, showing you how to operate this section as its uh, and its complex approach controls and draw signaling. Please feel free to share this to anyone you think may benefit from this training exercise. So we're gonna. Pop our train on. Got the signal at the station stops near as well. No service in this. So, um, our first signal that we will have to. Um, do the approach controls with is at Marlborough Road uh, which is A879 so when we get to that one we'll uh, talk you through it you'll also hear that I'm back on the old sound pack at the moment as well To, I need to update after the updates that came out the other day. Just not got around to it yet. I've been quite busy. So we're just approaching Swiss Cottage. Still um, no approach controls at the moment. Line speed's 30 miles per hour through here. into the single bore tunnel sections at the moment. These only feature between Swiss Cottage and Baker Street. So the first approach control is coming up and it is at the end of this uh, tunnel. So this one is A879 for Marlborough Row. So you'll see that ahead you will have a yellow uh, distance signal, uh, yellow aspect. You need to be doing just below 20 miles per hour just after this signal. Uh, so 19.9 .9 at the most on the speed for this one to change. Um, if you do bang on 20, the limitations between train sim don't allow you to trigger the signal. So if as long as you're in the 19 region, you'll see that the signal has now just proceeded to green. Uh, with its repeater and uh, main aspect as well. Once you get the green, you can actually proceed. Put your power back on. This is the 30 mile an hour section as well. I'm doing a little bit of speed in there. It does uh, climb up to 45 mile an hour in a moment. Um, our next approach control is at the end of this tunnel. This is A887 at Lords. So when we hit to the 45, we can pick up that one. Not many sections you can do 45 mile an hour on. Uh, this approach control is a 40 mile an hour one, and you can just, you might just about see it in the distance on the uh, on the bend. Uh, 40 mile now again, so if, as long as you're doing just below 40, it will change. And the region of changing for this signal is just after these uh, two, si this the repeater and uh, aspect that's showing at the moment. So make sure I'm just below 40. And as you can see, the signal has now changed to green. 
And we're in the 40 mile hour section now, and this is at Malfoy Road. We have another approach control quite soon after, which is um, A889. This one is a 15 mile an hour approach control, so 14.9 at the most for this one. And the approach control is just situated in between the two lines in front of the tunnel section there. So to make this one trigger in around around this region here, you need to be doing below 50 miles per hour for it to change, and as you can see, it has now triggered to green. Once again, you can then proceed uh, on with the power. Our next uh, signal is a draw-up signal, and it's on the approach to Baker Street, and that one is MB100, which uh, works in conjunction with the signal after it. Um, below 5 mile hour, so 4.9 for this one to trigger, and we'll uh, be there in 0.2 of a mile. This one's a bit more tricky as well because you're on a downhill gradient, so you need to keep your eye on that speed and uh, watch your braking as well, um, because if you don't have any brakes on, you will creep over quite quickly. So do bear that one in mind, please. So I'm going to start slowing down now. As you will see in a moment, there will be a red aspect coming up. It's just going to sight now. So I'm going to start easing it down. Not too much, so I don't lose the you don't lose too much time in your scenario but just gradually bring it down and um, 4.9 at the most of this one but do remember to apply a little bit of brake just to keep you keep momentum as well so you'll see the signals just changed and that and the signal MB 14A work together this signal also has a feather so it can actually take you to platform 4 which is the bay platform uh, once you go through you can actually power up again but please bear in mind for your next uh, signal which is MB4B which is this one here this is an approach control this one's a 10 mile an hour uh, it's quite close you need to get quite close to it so do do be cautious just in case there's any trains ahead of you um, but as long as you're doing uh, below 10 it should change and there's nothing in ahead of you like so um, your next one is MB5 again, which is this next approach control just in the distance there before the, uh, the diamond crossover. Again, 10 miles an hour, so 9.9 .9 at the utmost speed for this one. Again, it's quite a close one to change with, so be cautious in case you have a train in the platform. But as long as you're doing below and there's nothing heavy, you will change like so. And your next signal to contend with will be a draw-up signal, which is halfway through Baker Street platform, which you can see just on the bend ahead of us. That is MB140. Uh, this is a 5 mile an hour again. Please do remember, um, draw-up signals are 5 below, but, well, five below uh, so 4.9 at the most. But they are meant to be 5 miles an hour, which is just with a train signal limitation. So as long as you're doing below, it will change. Not so bad with this one, because it's on a level gradient. So as long as you're doing below the 5 in around this area here you should get the green like so then you can you can power up again to the uh, to the mark on the platform Your next approach control is going to be MB23, and that is just around the bend out of the station. And that is a 15 miles per hour approach control, so 14.9 for the most on this one. <coughs> we'll show you where that one is situated in just a moment when we get going. So it's 15 miles per hour out of the station here, which in which works in uh, nicely with the approach control. So as long as you're doing 14.9 again, guys, this will change for you, um, providing you've got no train ahead of you. You might have a Circle Line train on this one or Hammersmith City. So if you're just doing below the 15 mark. Keep your eye on the speedo just in case, and you can see the signal just ahead and it has now just changed like so. So once you get past the crossover, as long as you're doing 14.9 at the most, it should change for you. And we're going to speed up here. London Underground rules state that as long as your nose of the train's gone past the next speed change, you can power up. It will say you're speeding within train simulated, but you can, you can do it. For the purpose of this run, just to speed up a little bit, we're going to get going. <coughs> 
There's no more approach controls to deal with until Euston Square. So Great Portland Street, you just drive in and uh, arrive as normal. Next stop is Houston Square, so that is where our next AC is. The signal ID for this next one is A201, and the signal is located just at the end, just past the platform. Bit of a tricky one to see and sight out because it's hidden behind the, uh, the metal barriers, but you can see through the textures on the barrier, there's little holes which allow you to see the signal. So just keep your eye and you should see the signal change on the approach. Um, you need to be doing uh, just below 10 mile hour, so 9.9 .9 for this one, and make sure you're at that speed about three quarters of the way through the platform coming towards the end, um, as the timing section is uh, located around that area. So just be, be, take note of that. Uh, all, all but most stations require you to be about three quarters of the way down at that correct speed, otherwise it, it will not change. About now, somewhere around this region. So you should see, uh, you can see the signal there. And it, there you go. We've got the green. Some of them are a bit further down on the floor than others, but you should be able to spot them out. Our next approach control is on the departure from Euston Square, and that is OJ130, which works in conjunction with OJ13. Uh, this one is a line speed signal, so you can do up to 35 miles per hour for this one to change, providing there's no train ahead of you, it will trigger. 34.9 um, for the most on this one, though, of course, remember. Whatever the signal speed is, always, always take point 0.1 off um, to make sure that you do get that signal to change. You can actually apply full power here because the signal uh, should change at the right place, and you still you st should still be uh, well within the distance in speed. So you keep powering up around about this mark, just after the eight car mark, you should get a green, and there we go, they work together. So OJ130 is the first one, and then OJ13 is the signal just by the bend over there ahead. You will have a speed drop to 20 miles per hour just before King's Cross St Pancras and then at the end of the station St uh, Pancras King's Cross um, you will have another approach control and that is OJ24 and again a 10 miles per hour so 9.9 .9 for this one to trigger. This one again, about three quarters of the way down, you want to be down to 9.9 .9 at the most. <coughs> Otherwise, it will not um, trigger. You can see as well the canopy repeat is saying you've got a red just ahead with the yellow aspect being uh, shown. So, around about this mark, it should uh, pick you up and trigger you. Signal's located to the left of the platform there, like so, and you've now been given the green.
our next approach control is just on the approach to Farringdon, so we've got a little bit to get to Farringdon yet, so enjoy the ride, and when we get nearby, I will talk you through this next change. leave it's 20 miles per hour which plans to 30 and then gradually we'll get to 40 miles per hour in a moment Point two of a mile we're going to drop down to 35 then quite soon afterwards we will drop down also to 25 miles per hour so I'll bring that down just to just move my mobile there it keeps pinging do apologise so the 35 is like around about here and then around the bend is 25 you can also spot the more pef board 25 which tells us of the drop there's only one of them on the uh, met line which is quite cool see one of them all like, like a railway style uh, change board as well drop down board so oh 20 is our next approach control um, you can see ahead we have a uh, yellow aspect on top of a uh, normal aspect signal so we've got a repeat for the below and then uh, then the main one ahead the signal is uh, 20 miles an hour for it to change. You can see the red just in the distance and another repeater just before it. Around about this mark, 20 miles an hour, 19.9. And then you go, the repeater is now giving us a green aspect, which shows us that the approach control has uh, triggered and it's allowed us to proceed into the platform. Uh, providing there's no train in the platform, you will get the, uh, the aspect to get in there. And then next up is A. 225 at Farringdon. This is a draw up signal and this is located at the end of the platform just around the bend. So you can see the um, repeater down there giving us a yellow. That's a fixed yellow, by the way. A fixed yellow and red figures. So you can see the draw up in the centre of the line here. So 5 mile an hour, so 4.9 at the most for this one, guys. And around about this mark. It should change to a green provider. There's nothing in the path ahead. Like so. It's 25 mile an hour when you leave Barbican, which climbs to 40 just after the platform. Our next approach control is OE48, and this is at the end of Barbican Station. Again, 10 miles per hour, so 9.9 .9 for the most. About three quarters of the way down, you need to be with about 10 miles an hour. Anywhere around here, it should pick you up any time now. Got the yellow there on the canopy. 
There you go. Once you get to grips with these signals, you'll pick it up really easy. You'll, you'll know it all, and you'll know the speeds. Um, but again, if you do get st uh, stuck, just come and refer back to this video, and you eventually should be able to uh, operate it without having to use the video as help reference. <coughs> Next up is OE43, and this is at the end of Moorgate Station. This one is a 20 mile an hour approach control. Before Moorgate, there should be multi home signaling, but unfortunately, due to the um, limitations of the train simulator, we couldn't replicate the multi home. Um, so we've gone for normal um, aspect signaling. But as long as when you get trains ahead of you, it still draws you in like they should do. So when we get through Moorgate, um, 20 mile an hour, so about halfway, you won't be at 20 miles per hour. And you can see the signal just down below the, at the end of the platform, and we have now been given the green aspect. We have a 20 mile an hour permanent speed restriction on the way out of Moorgate as well. You'll note that by the uh, the board in the track. The end of the uh, PSR is towards the end of the platform, uh, the end of the tunnel. Sorry, you'll see the little blue TT um, on top of the yellow uh, box in the distance, just down there. And then it jumps back up to 40 miles per hour. <coughs> also. A249 is our next approach control signal and that is at the end of Liverpool Street. This one again is a 20 mile an hour, so 19.9 for this one to change. <coughs> this marks the end of the PSR. About halfway through the platform for this one and you should see the signal just down below there, uh, beyond just change to green. Next up is OD1, this is another approach control which is just beyond, so you should see in the distance there's a, a yellow repeater and a red signal, the red is the o OD1, it's a 10 mile an hour to change, so when you're leaving Liverpool Street I always suggest just, just do 10 miles per hour on the way out just to make sure that the, um, the signal changes, that it picks you up. So the signal has now changed. picked up. So that makes uh, one more left on this run into Oldgate. Again, uh, OB2, which is the last signal before Oldgate station. Um, it, she's just sighted where the 15 mile an hour um, speed changes. This one again, 10 miles per hour, so 9.9 .9 for this one. Um, so when you start getting around this bend, you want to start slowing down. Um, and the signal should change in sort of about where these signals are um, and these boxes are all being well. There you go, so we've been given the lower aspect on the feather, we're going to go into platform 3 and we've been given a green. Please note, obviously if there's any, anything coming off the Hammersmith and City or the Circle, uh, 
not the circle, the Hammers City, or any of the old gate platforms, you might not get the uh, aspect straight away in case anything's coming out. So do do take note of that. But once they've passed and cleared, you will get the proceed. There's 15 over that junction there, and then 10 at the uh, start of the platform. I'm just going to shut the cab down. I'm going to set up this end and we're going to go back to Finchley Road now. <clears throat> Slightly different, there's not as many on this uh, run compared to the uh, other direction. We do have the signal. I'm just waiting uh, for task time. I'm just going to async that he's that. So our first signal that we need to deal with is a draw-up signal, which is at more uh, more gate. So we actually don't have anything um, approach control or draw-up-wise until more gate. So you can uh, drive the route as normal. So next up is Moorgate. So the uh, the drop signal is O O E two six zero five miles per hour. Don't forget we've been a draw up, so four point nine for the most on your speed. <coughs> Got a twenty mile an hour speed drop in a moment as well.
So not too far before the signal, you need down to 4.9 for the most. So around about now. Keeping your eye on the signal, it should change any time now. There we go. Nice OE260. Once you do get these signals, don't be afraid to power up again. Keep your times. You will get more confident as time goes on. It, it takes a while to get used to it. It took me a very long time to get used to it, especially when putting the, uh, the route together and putting the signals down and learning them and testing them. But the more you do it, the more fluent you get in it. <coughs> So next up we have an approach control at Barbican, that is A232, and again this is a 10 mile an hour approach control signal. This is sighted at the end of the platform. yellow and red in the centre of the platform there. So 9.9 .9 for this one guys. The signal triggers just as you're coming to a stop as well. It's quite a cl uh, close to the end of the platform this one. So there you go. You should just see it as you uh, as the signal goes past the uh, the pillar on the uh, on the column of the train side of the cab. Find you're not coming in stupidly fast. Next up we have a approach control at the end of Farringdon platform. Please note there is no drops on this direction. Uh, 10 miles per hour and the signal is OH28. Again with this one it's quite a close um, proximity for it to change so just come in nice and easy as you get towards the end of the platform just to make sure it changes. It should change just as you, you, you sort of come to a stop uh, at the Chevron if you're in the right sort of place. There you go, like so. The next approach control is OJ16 that is located at the end of King's Cross St Pancras platform. That is a 10 mile an hour approach control signal.
So we're dropping down to 25 mile an hour, just on the approach to King's Cross, as we uh, jump back into the tunnel. And you'll maintain this speed until you start getting towards the end of the platform. So 9.9 .9 on this one with it being a 10 mile an hour. And it's quite a close one to change again like uh, a couple of previous ones. Doing slow enough, you should. You might just have to nip out of the window. There you go, it has changed. You might see on the other side of the cab, actually. Yeah, you can see on the other side of the cab that one. For future reference. The next one is uh, on the departure of King's Cross St Pancras, that is OJ20. This is the 40 mile an hour approach control which is located just beyond the crossover in a moment. Can't quite see it from the platform, I don't know if you can see it from over here. No, we'll see that in a moment. So you can do line speed coming out of here from the 40 mark and the, uh, the signal is just in the distance there. Should change, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Even I still get a little bit jittery sometimes around them hoping they're going to change, but they do change. That one's OJ20. That concludes all the approach control signals um, at the end of the platforms. Um, there is one more approach control before Baker Street and there is one draw up signal left to, con uh, to deal with. So for now you can actually drive the route as normal. Not worrying about any of the approach control. Next stop is Great Portland Street. So in a, in a short while uh, we're going to approach up to Baker Street crossover. Uh, this is protected with an approach control. MB34 is the signal ID and that is a 15 miles per hour approach control. 14.9 will make this one trigger. So you'll see 
the um, yellow aspect in the distance on the bottom half of the uh, <coughs> repeater and aspect signal. So when you start get close to that, you ought to start slowing down. <coughs> That's the next signal for it, with the approach control is just beyond, uh, beyond this bend, and the timing section is located on the bend. Actually, are quite close to the signal already. So somewhere in this region, the signal should change. In time now. There we go. So the signal has now changed, and we can cross over. We've got the feather as well. It's 15 mile an hour crossover as well. We have a draw up signal next. Again, five miles per hour for a draw up signal. This is located in the center of the tracks, about halfway through the platform. So you can just about see it in the distance there, coming in now in the middle. This is MB260. So. I might have just missed that actually. <laughs> that one does, it changes around about. I have missed that one. Uh, hang on. So to make that one change, you need to be around about this mark here, where the back of the signal is, for it to change. I'm just slightly over on that one. So I'm just going to tab that one. My bad. I will get trolled. Climb when we leave Baker Street. Even though in the 40, it soon drops back down to 25. This raises back to 40 on the way out of the tunnels. over the Regent's Canal and back into Lords. We still maintain that 40 mile an hour. Drop down to 30 mile an hour on the approach to Marlborough Road. We 
drop down to 25 at the tunnel mouth. Going back into the tunnels. So where the single bore starts again, it's around out there where the 25 kicks in. It's a bit of a roller coaster in speeds, especially the tunnel section. Just as you get into a speed, you have back down again and then back up. We now drop, uh, jump back up to 40. Not full on though, we got back down to 25 in a moment, so we're not going to get all the way up to 40. We'll give it a little bit of speed. It's 25 mile an hour for the um, Swiss cottage section. Climb back up to 30 for a, a brief moment and then we jump back down to 25 mile an hour as we approach Finchley Road platform. We do hope you found this tutorial beneficial. Um, if there's anything you're uh, concerned with or struggling to uh, figure out with the route, let us know. Um, there will be some more tutorials to come. We're gonna, I'm going to do the Oxbridge branch at some point as well soon and other ones to help you out. Um, don't forget, like, subscribe, share. Share it with your friends. Send it to the groups. Let everyone know that there is tutorials out there to help you all out. Um, don't forget you can follow myself on Twitch at TV underscore tom so twitch.tv as well on there uh, twitch.tv forward slash tracing underscore tom and then also twitch.tv tracing tv underscore mark as well for mark's channel uh tom's channel's live more uh on a wednesday friday and an occasional weekend stream just bear that one in mind um but you can find us on there thank you as always guys and we'll catch you on the next one take care